Hi, hello there. It's me, AMP. You never return my calls. Anyway, today we're looking at another Joyo pedal, and this time we've got the Double Thruster, which is a great name. Fantastic name. 10 out of 10. No notes. <laughs> So just like the Joyo Monomyth that we reviewed last time, this is a copy of another dark glass pedal, uh, the B3K specifically. And if you're unfamiliar with that pedal, the B3K is kind of like a low to mid-range gain pedal. So we're going to go everywhere from like subtle overdrive to buzzsaw. That's kind of the range that we're working with here. So let's take a look at the, the controls we've got, what they do, and how they sound. So first, here's my clean tone. So here we got a, just a little bit of hair on there, and we've got a lot of options to, to shape our tone from there. Starting with the tone knob. So obviously the tone knob is going to control how much uh, top end or treble content we get. We can make it really, really dark. Or we can open that up and get pretty clanky. Next, we've got a blend knob because every good bass pedal has one, and that's pretty straightforward. You go all the way this way, and you have just overdrive. And if you ever find that you're lacking any low end, you just blend your clean signal back end, and there you go. Next up on this bottom row, we've got a volume knob, which in classic dark glass fashion only affects the overdriven part of the sound. So your clean tone is going to pass through here, only affected more or less just by the blend knob. Check this out. And finally, the gain knob. And this is probably the one that you're going to be tweaking the most on this pedal. Um, and that just controls how hairy you want this to get. With the gain all the way down, we have subtle, almost indiscernible overdrive. And all the way up, we get buzzsaw. Underneath that, we've got two switches, which just like on the Monomyth, I think you should probably just leave these both on most of the time, especially the gain boost, which is a little bit um, mislabeled, I feel like, in my opinion, because it does boost, but it boosts the low end, not like your overall gain. Check this out with it off. It sounds like this. Kind of thin. We turn it on. The body comes back. Then over on the other side, we have a mid boost, which basically just kind of puts a little bit of a nose on your EQ so that you can poke out a little bit if you want to. I think it sounds good, but I love a lot of mids, uh, but you have the option to turn that off and on at will, of course. So here's with it off. And here's with it on. No idea what that was. We just went with it.
That is the Joyo Double Thruster. If you hate the dark glass sound, you're going to hate this pedal. But if you want the dark glass thing and you don't want to pay a ton of money, there you go. This is the budget alternative. And it sounds great. And it seems to be well built. You get a soft touch switch that feels good. I don't think it was made to do that. The only thing that I would probably say feels cheap is just the knobs themselves. This chrome thing like kind of looks cool from a distance, but up close you can tell that it's like cheap. I don't know how else to describe it. But yeah, check it out. These things are really affordable and they sound really good. And so that's all I'm gonna say about that. Goodbye. <laughs>